All right, so that brings us to an end for the piecewise core enhancements. Next up is some tickle integration and some of the functionality that's been added via tickle into piecewise. So first off, tickle itself has now been added into piecewise. This this um, ability didn't exist in piecewise previously. It came into capture in approximately version 16.3, the ability to tickle tickle controls in the tool. What that is, is it's, a, is it's a programming language that allows you to integrate deeply into the, into the tool and write scripts and macros that do, do things that would otherwise be very difficult to do. So that functionality has existed now in 16.3 for a little while in Capture, and we've now introduced it in PSpice in 16.6. So you can now do tickle control in PSpice. So that might not be something that the regular user is comfortable doing, doing some programming, but there still are a lot of benefits. The benefits are that other code that other people write can be made available to you. And you can get that by going to the marketplace. So if you're not familiar, go to the start page and then go over here to the marketplace. And in the marketplace, this is an online resource that we manage. You can go to the online store, check out products right here. And you can take a look at some apps that people have made using this Tickle programming that enhance the capability of Capture. And soon we're going to be getting a lot more that enhance the capability of PSpice. Cadence has made a lot of Tickle scripts already available. And I'll take a minute here to show you what some of them are. First off is an interactive tutorial that's been added to PSpice. This is really useful for new users, people that are getting into PSpice especially college students and people that are that are new. It gives them some basic circuitry and some examples that they can read up on, do simulation on, and get learning and productive with the tool very, very quickly. So let me show you where they are and how to use them. So we'll go back to Capture here. And in Capture, we can just go to Help Learning PSpice right there. And in this learning piece spice, this is kind of tickle enabled. The content in, in here is HTML5 based, and there's gonna be ways to add more information into here as well too. But for now, this is some of the basics. So what we have in here is just some, some sample circuits of things that engineers might find interesting. So Ohm's Law, a little slide on Ohm's Law and some information on that with some, some graphics. Let's skip down a bit to diodes. And you can see that here's, a, here's some information on biasing and how biasing works and the breakdown works and some graphs on that. If you want to try this yourself firsthand, all that you need to do is hit this little button, click to view circuit. And that's going to open up a sample of this design right in Capture that you can then go ahead and simulate. So here it is. I can just hit run now and I should be getting results that look pretty similar to what I had in the, in the graphic. And here you can see that I do. So this is a really useful feature for new users just wanting to learn something about PSpice, some sample circuits and application for their design environment. So very good information and uh, super useful. So go to learning PSpice and take a look at that. Another example of some tickle coding that's been done to make the PSpice tool a lot easier to use for for new users is the ability to place PSpice components quickly. This has typically been problematic for PSpice users in that they don't know exactly which library to add. They might be adding parts that are not actually PSpice compatible in Capture. There's lots of ways to mess this up. So we've tried to make it as simple as possible to place PSpice components in 16.6. How you can do that now is when you're in Capture and if you're on some page, you can go here to place. You now have a new whole option for PSpice components. So instead of going to place part and browsing through libraries and stuff to find the part you want, you can now instead go to place PSpice component and you can place parts from here very quickly. So if you want to place a resistor, just grab that and place it on your schematic. If you want to place something else, you can go here to discretes and you can see there's a bunch of sample discretes there, a source part. So if you want a voltage source, a DC voltage source, you can grab that one and put it in. Again, this goes very quickly. If you want to play some digital components, we have a bunch of digital components as well too. 
So now placing components, there's, there's menu options here to make this very quick. If you do want to, you can now customize all these menus in Capture as well too. So if you would like to add new parts into here that you think are important to be able to place quickly, you can customize this interface and make that work as well. So new way of placing parts that hopefully makes things a lot quicker and easier and less problematic for new PSPICE users.